traffic. I would say here in Denver and Colorado, it can be pretty bad. It has gotten worse in the last few years. We do love our cars. Traffic here and across the world can be frustrating. It came, it came out nowhere. And deadly. Globally, nearly 3,300 people on average are killed on roads and highways each day. If we can save 80% of those lives, reduce the collisions, the, the lost revenues, the time spent as a result of those accidents, that, that's huge. The key to reaching that goal, many road planners say, is removing humans, the cause of many of those accidents, from the traffic equation. The Colorado Department of Transportation and Japan's Panasonic Corporation are teaming up on a plan. We're taking the first programmatic approach to a connected vehicle platform. In today's new digital world, what if you didn't need to build a new highway lane with asphalt? What if all you needed was data? A new smart highway system will allow cars to receive real-time cellular, radio, and roadway sensor data, as well as share information with each other about traffic conditions. The goal is a smoother flow of cars and trucks, less erratic driving, fewer crashes, much less stop-and-go traffic too close, too fast, taking the curve too hard, all of those things that along that corridor cause those bender benders and bump ups would be essentially eliminated. Panasonic's Jared Wentz says all of Colorado will be covered by the program, which he admits involves lots of technologies and moving parts. Paving the road while you're driving on it is, is probably the most difficult task. I really think this rideshare enthusiast worries that cars already get too much attention. You're not doing anything to solve congestion if you have the same amount of cars that are just driven by nobody instead of driven by somebody. But advocates for this transportation platform say autonomous vehicles along with ride sharing will be the future soon and they say this will only increase highway capacity our job is to keep the people of Colorado as safe as we possibly can and we are completely convinced that this technology is going to do that for us the technology is sound they say I have zero zero concern about it working I have no doubt whatsoever Colorado hopes to roll out its smart highway by 2020 and expects other US states to follow Hendrick Sabrandi CGTN Denver